Hello, how's it going guys? Today I want to show you how I made that cyberpunk sun. Because we all love cyberpunk. It's pretty simple procedural um, material that is applied actually to the plane. So let's do it. Okay, here in Blender, as usually, we will delete everything. I will also turn off the floor and axis so you can see better. Let me turn render view. So we will start with adding simple plane. Let me go into top view. Right, let's make a new material. And, and here I will delete principal BSDF shader. As we know, sun is emitting light. So we will add emission shader to our plane. By the way, I'm using node wrangler add-on. Okay. Um, next, the sun is pretty much round. So the easiest way to make a circle uh, is by using gradient texture. Let me plug it to the mission. Okay, I will change color blending from linear to spherical. I will make sure gradient texture is selected and I will press Ctrl T that will give us that mapping and texture coordinates node. Here I will plug object to the vector and there we go. That's our circle. <clears throat> I will move that to the side and obviously I will add color ramp. I will change interpolation mode from linear to constant and that white slider will determine the size of our circle. So I will set it to 0.2. That should be pretty much the size I want. Let's move this outside. Okay, now I want that black area to be transparent. So I will use transparent shader. And I will use also Mix Shader. With Node Wrangler it's pretty simple, just press Ctrl Shift, right click on the transparent and drag it on top of the emission and it will create Mix Shader. <clears throat> right. Now that color ramp that is plugged to the emission shader, I will plug it to the Mix Shader factor. Now your center is transparent and and the square is white, that means we need to switch the nodes. Right now I got the emission on top and transparent plugged on the bottom. Let's switch it and there we go. Nice bright circle. I will also change emission strength to 10. Now let's make it the color we want. So usually Cyberpunk Sun has very bright colors and to add at least two colors to my sun I will use gradient texture again. So shift A, texture and gradient texture. I will also use color ramp. Let me plug the gradient texture factor to color ramp and color ramp color to the emission shader. Now I will change the black color in color ramp to let's say yellow and white color to um, red um, it's not quite what we want to change it we will need mapping node and texture coordinate node um, so select gradient texture press ctrl t now i will plug object from texture coordinate to the vector in a mapping node we need to move the colors on the x-axis from the right to the left so if you go to the mapping node and grab that X value and drag it slightly to the right. Let's say leave it on one for now. And now we got our two colors. We would like also, let's say, orange color on top and yellow on the bottom. So in that mapping now, if you go to the Z axis and type in minus 90, 
and that should rotate our colors. Now let's make the transition between colors a little bit more smooth. I will change interpolation mode from linear to ease. It's still not there, um, so I will also in our mapping node again scale it down a little bit on the y-axis. Point 4 should be okay. I will also move slightly the colors up. I will go to 0 0.9. Yeah, that looks better. The transition is much smoother now. Okay, but it's still not cyberpunk style. Um, the factor in the mix shader is driven by these nodes here. We created a circle with these nodes and we told Mix Shader that we want emission on our circle and transparency all around. Okay? Now we will have to cut out stripes in our sun and we will do it with wave texture. So, Shift A, texture, wave texture. Here I will also add a um, color ramp. Let's plug factor from wave texture to our color ramp. And temporarily let's plug that color ramp to our factor in a mix shader node. Okay, now we got lines. Okay, now here I will change interpolation mode from linear to constant. Everything disappeared. <laughs> so we need to move the white slider to the left and I will set it exactly in the center, 0.5. Here in our wave texture we will have to change the axis from X to Y and it looks much better. Let's turn down the scale maybe to 1.2. So in the next step I will use another wave texture to make some cutouts in those stripes to make it thick on the top and as we go lower they will get thinner if that makes sense so let's select wave texture and color ramp press shift d and place it slightly below now they both wave texture they got 1.2 scale and we will play with that second wave texture scale in a minute i will also add a um, mix rgb node in between so color mix rgb let's place it between color ramp and mix shader for now and let's plug the second color ramp into color 2 right now nothing's changed I will change the mix value in our mix shader to different and now if we change the scale in the second wave texture um, we will start seeing some pretty good effects um, the best scale that worked for me was 1.12 and if we go to the mix RGB node well now it's different RGB node drag the factor all the way up you can see what is happening we are basically using the second wave texture to cut holes in the first wave texture so that's pretty much what we want to achieve that thicker stripe at the top and as we go lower they are thinner and thinner okay but now we need to connect it with our circle which is over here okay so to do that, I will use Mix RGB node again. So Shift A, Color, Mix RGB. I will place it somewhere here. Now, I will plug the color ramp from our circle setup to the first color in Mix RGB node. Okay. And the color from our difference node to the second color in our mix RGB. Now let's move that a little bit lower. I will plug it to the factor 
in our mix shader node. Obviously, it makes a circle with um, our stripes. So now we want these parts to be transparent as well. To do it, I will change the mix value in our mix RGB node to multiply and, and I will drag the factor all the way up to 1. And now look what's happening. There we go. That looks much better. Here I will play a little bit with those um, stripes with, with our wave textures. I will select the first wave texture, press Ctrl T so we have our texture coordinate and mapping node. Again I will plug object to our vector. We got weird result, don't worry about it. Now I will plug the vector output from mapping node to our second wave texture. And here we just have to move it slightly on the Y axis. I will set the value to 1. That's our Cyberpunk Sun. You can always tweak the colors a little bit, um, make the red maybe more purple. Yeah, that's more cyberpunkish. <laughs> yeah, just have fun. Try to make it your way. I will post complete node setup on my website, so please check it out. And see you next time.